Your life has been out of control. Out of control. You're confused. But don't worry. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. 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 It's gonna be better. That's exactly how I'm feeling this morning. Come on in. That's exactly how I'm feeling this morning today. I just wanted to get on here and give you a word of encouragement. I want you to know today that things are going to get better. Do not allow what's going on in this land to keep you worried and anxiety driven and torment you. I'm telling you, I'm super excited. I got my daughter just walked in, y'all. Mm -hmm. Say hi, Lionel. You don't come and say hi to everybody. Reach in to say hi. <laughs> she's saying hi she's on her way to work she still has to work y'all she's working a daycare and she's still working but today i just wanted to get on here and encourage you and let you know it is going to get better don't listen don't let the enemy torment you don't let him torment you with worry and fear and anxiety you tell the enemy listen we cannot control this pandemic i promise you you cannot you have no control you don't care i don't care how it happened why it happened you have no control but what you got control over is what you were told to do to trust god god said i don't give you the, the spirit of fear but a power and love and a sound mind. So anything less than that is coming from the enemy. I want to encourage you. We will not worry. We will not be anxiety driven. We will not let fear control us because I am in control how I react to this virus. I'm telling you, worry and fear will take you out of here. Actually, it works against your immune system. And right now, in order to fight this thing, we need some healthy immune systems. So what can you do? Keep your hands washed. What can you do? Keep your your, your uh, surroundings clean. Stay in if they're telling you to stay in. Don't go out unless you have to because it's a highly contagious virus. That's the biggest thing. It's just highly contagious. So people are getting it, you know, rapidly. Okay. So maybe I need to stay in. You know, it's funny, y'all, because my kids come in. I spray them down, you know, because some of them still got to work. And then um, you have us who work from home. My daughter was able to come in and work from home. And um, it was like, okay, well, they're in. But what about my husband who has to leave or her husband who has to leave or my daughter who you just saw who has to leave? And um, it's like, uh-uh. <laughs> but I don't let fear overtake me. I do what I'm supposed to do because you can't worry and trust God at the same time. You're going to either worry and let the enemy torture torment you and sing the what ifs in your head or you gonna stand on god's word it's, it's the song that says what do you do um at the end of the day after you've done all you can stand after you've done all you can stand stand on god's word Stand on the word of God. Stand on Psalms uh 91. My daughter posted it um in the uh chat our family chat at five o'clock this morning he who uh, dwells in the secret place abides under the shadow of the Almighty. God said, you know, just that right there, just that Psalms 91. That you are totally 100% protected and know that. Read that. Rehearse it if you have to. There is so much in the in the Google. Where, what do I do when I worry? What does the Bible say about it? Google every one of those scriptures and repeat those things to yourself. And listen, interrupt your thoughts. Interrupt those thoughts. Interrupt those tormenting thoughts with the word of God. And interrupt them with something positive. Man, well, I ain't dead yet. I'm living right now. And so right now, I'm going to take some time. And really quickly, in one of my other groups, I gave them a few things. I just want to say this really quick. Right now, during this time that some of you guys are sitting at home and you do have time to be at home, or now you're not going from work and running all over the world, but you have to be at home, I just wanted to give you a few tips that can help you during this time of crisis that you can't, you sitting at home anyway. Allow this time to, this opportunity that you have to redefine your priorities. If your priorities was off and, and you was putting your priorities in things that wasn't productive, <laughs> now is the time to redefine your priorities. What's really, you know, what is my vision? Like, redefine your vision. Where do I see myself? What is it that I really want to be doing? Am I really happy? Am I really doing what God created me to do? 
What do I need to do to make that happen in my life? Um, an opportunity to reestablish your goals. If you didn't get them done at the beginning of the year, or maybe you was, you know, this is a great time to do it. It's a great time to work on your vision board. Things that you just really didn't have time to do or you allowed distractions to get in your way. Now is the time I'm telling you. And the last thing is this opportunity to bury the past and move to a new future. It's an opportunity to say you the past is in the past. And I'm tired of letting the past define me. I'm tired of letting my past keep me in a comfort zone. I'm tired of my past, you know, dwelling in this toxic belief system, this unproductive belief system based on the things that happened to me, based on my past mistakes, based on the people that hurt me, based on the people that I hurt. I've made mistakes. People have made mistakes. People have hurt me and I've hurt people. But I got to move past these things. Yes, my soul be, had become wounded at some point. But it, now, take this time. You know, I have a book, um, I Healed on Purpose, The Toxin, the Wounded Soul. Get that book. I can link the link down below. Uh, it's on Amazon. Take the time. Go through that book. You know, find out which wounds that you are... Um, that you are operating out of the wounds of rejection. So with that is the abandonment, humiliation, injustice, betrayal. What am I operating out of? And then get the tools you need to be able to cast down that old belief system and embrace the belief system that aligns with God's word so that you can live your best life. And this is what you do during a time when you're stuck at home. Now worry about where the bills is going to come from. God got that. Now worry about nothing. God has your children. He has your marriage. He has your home. He has your job. I'm going to tell y'all something. There are people in the hospital wish that their only worry was, am I going to get the Cronola virus? Some of them just got diagnosed with stage four, stage five cancer. There are people that got a told they weren't going to live six months. They already know unless God changed something. It's out of their hands. And they wish they had time to be at home. And say, I'm okay right down in this moment. That God gives you some of your time back with your family, with your dreams, with your ambition. So listen, get focused. Don't let this take you out of focus. Don't let this distract you. But you stay focused and do what it is that God is calling you to do in this moment. Some of y'all just, God, I'm so sorry. I've been all over the place lately. Forgive me. I just kind of just kind of got out of sync. And sit down there and, and redefine these things in your life. And set yourself up to win. So when everything, the floodgates open back up, you ready to get out here and win. And do what it is that God is calling you to do. Listen, thanks for watching. You have a great day.